Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a very typical scrolling text credit sequence inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. So in order to do this, we're going to be creating two side-by-side -side scrolling text elements. So I'm going to get started here by putting in the first scrolling text. So how it usually works is on the left you would have the character in the movie or the show, and then on the right you would have the person who played that. So make sure that for the first title, you do have it right aligned here in the Inspector Text Alignment. And in Inspector Video, we're going to reposition this over here to the left. We're also going to want to change the font probably and also the font size. So something like 50 seems appropriate. And for a font, you can basically choose whatever you want. Here I'm going to go with Baby Snoy. So in order to add in the characters from your movie, just type the name of the character. And you can do this in another editor and just copy paste the text in if you want. And when you're done with one line, just hit enter to create a new line. And just keep going till you have all the characters you need to show credits for. So now what we need to do is duplicate the first scrolling text to create a new one. So I'm going to copy this over here. And I'm going to replace the names of all the characters in the new scrolling text with the actual uh, cast names, and we should have something like this now, but I'm going to pop this above the first text because we want those to show at the same time. Now we also need to realign it to the left, and with video we're going to move that way further to the right, so this is video inspector, and by doing that we now have the character names on the left and the cast names on the right. You may also want to change the font so that it's more distinctive. So if you do decide to change the font, just make sure that ultimately they're going to line up properly here. So you may, for instance, need to do a little bit of repositioning in order to get those to match. And now if we play it back, the information on the left and the right should match up and start scrolling upwards at the same time. Now, one more thing we probably want to do is add in one more scrolling text here. Uh, possibly at the beginning or possibly on a new track. And that's going to be something like the credits for the movie. So we can say, like, from 49, that's where I'm pulling this cast from. We center that, we lower its font size, give it a cool font. And maybe we add a couple lines of space and say cast. If you want this to be a separate font as well, you would need to put it on another scrolling text, but that wouldn't be hard to do. We could just pop this up here, lower the length. Remove that cast from the first title and put that on the second title. So let's get that going there. And the important thing is to actually make sure it syncs up. So you can see it's going way too fast. That's a sign that we need to probably take the length of this and make it the same, but have it start at a different time. So let's see, that looks about right. So <laughs> that's probably going too fast still. So if you need to actually make it go slower, you just increase the length of each of the tracks. And you keep adjusting it until you get the right speed. Now we can move these a little further out too. And with this cast, we probably want to lower the font size. Change it to something that makes sense. Maybe move it a little further ahead. And let's try playing it back one more time. So essentially, just keep adjusting it a bit until you get it right. And after a little bit of trial and error, you should be able to get scrolling credits going for yourself. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.